Hello everyone, welcome to the Week 10 edition of the Huddle's Post Game Recap. I'm Keith Schweigert, taking you through all the results from the final week of the regular season. Let's start in Section 1 with our Game of the Week, which pitted Warwick against McCaskey. The Warriors got it done by controlling the ball on offense and shutting down the Red Tornado on defense to pull off a 17-0 victory. Isaac Rissinger and Ryan Long scored touchdowns for Warwick, while Will Mobley added a 22-yard field goal. The Warriors went 2-8 last season, but completely turned things around this year. They finished the regular season with an 8-2 record and a second-place finish in Section 1, and now they can turn their attention to the District 3 Class 6A playoffs, which open next week. Warwick will probably open on the road as the number 5 seed taking on number 4 Cumberland Valley. That's what the unofficial District 3 power rankings are telling us anyway. The official district playoff brackets will be released on Sunday. Joining Warwick in the 6A playoffs will be Wilson, which steamrolled Conestoga Valley 42-21 tonight to capture its ninth straight section title. Their Section 1 winning streak is at 64 games. The Bulldogs will be at home to start the playoffs next week, probably against Central York. Mannheim Township also appears to be a playoff team in 6A. The Blue Streaks hammered Penn Manor 55-27 tonight, and that win, coupled with 6th-ranked Dallas Town's loss to Red Lion tonight, appears to be enough to get Township in the number 8 spot in the power rankings, which are used to fill out the brackets. Now, I should stress again that these rankings are unofficial and that the official brackets will come out Sunday morning. But right now, it looks like the streaks are in. Stay tuned. In the other Section 1 game tonight, Hempfield hammered Lebanon 59-32. The Black Knights won three of their last four games. Let's move on to Section 2, where Cocalico and Mannheim Central are going to have to share the section championship. They entered the night tied for first place, and both teams won their final regular season games. Cocalico shut out Solanco 14-0 as Colton Goodman and Brandon Brubaker scored on touchdown runs, and the defense did the rest. The Eagles finished the regular season 7-3 overall and 6-1 and in Section 2. Meanwhile, Mannheim Central kept pace by pounding guarding spot 50-8. Big night for quarterback Cody Kegaris in this one. Kegaris went 13-21 for, for 290 yards and three touchdowns through the air and rushed for 131 yards and three scores on the ground as the Barons closed the regular season with a 9-1 overall record. We should note that even though the league will declare them co-champs, Cocalico did win the head-to-head -head matchup 28-24 earlier this year. The two teams could meet again in the District 3 5A playoffs. Both of them have qualified. Central is the number two seed, unofficially, while Cocalico is number six. If that holds up, they'd be looking at a potential rematch in the semifinals if they both win their openers. Central is, unofficially, slated to host Cedar Cliff on Friday, while Cocalico would be on the road against Northeastern. Repeat after me, unofficially. Elsewhere in Section 2, Cedar Crest stomped Lynn Peter Strasburg 35-6. Elas has now lost two in a row, but the Pioneers are still in the 4A playoffs, unofficially, as the number 5 seed. They'll be on the road at York Suburban next Friday if that holds up. And finally, Elizabethtown pounded effort of 58-3. That's 41 straight losses for the Mountaineers. Now let's go to Section 3, where we're going to have another split championship. Anvil Cleona and Lancaster Catholic will share the crown after picking up wins tonight. The Little Dutchman dumped Donegal 34-14 to win a share of the section title for the first time since 2004 as Noah Myers ran for a pair of touchdowns and hit Griffin Hertz with a 68-yard strike to lead the way. AC did not make the District 3 AAA playoffs, so the Dutchman will finish with a 7-3 overall record. Meanwhile, Lancaster Catholic wrapped up its share of the title with a 35-7 win over Northern Lebanon. It was the Brian Downey show for the Crusaders. He ran for two touchdowns, threw for two more, and also picked up a pair of interceptions on defense. Catholic was hoping to fight its way into the AAA playoffs, but that's probably not happening. They're unofficially ranked fifth in AAA, and only four teams get in. So the Crusaders will have to be content with a 7-3 record and a share of the section crown. Elsewhere in Section 3, in what was the closest game of the night, Elko edged Peckway Valley 28-27. The Raiders won three of their last four games to finish with a 5-5 record. There was one last game involving a Section 3 team tonight, a non-leaguer between Columbia and Kennerdale. 
And let's give a shout out to the Crimson Tide, which battled through low numbers and injuries all season long and was down to 19 players at one point. But Columbia ended its season on a winning note with a 43-14 win tonight. Kudos to the Tide for fighting the good fight. That's going to do it for this week. Remember to check out Lancaster Online for all the details from tonight's games, and we'll have the official District 3 playoff brackets when they're released on Sunday. You can also follow along on social media for no more news and updates. We'll be back here next week to recap the first round of the playoffs. Until then, I'm Keith Schweigert. Thanks for watching. <laughs>